It's a Wednesday, but it isn't a race day. Um, unfortunately, as race was actually cancelled today because of the weather. Um, it's a bit windy, it's a bit cold, and it was torrential rain this morning when I got up. Um, but obviously, it's not about just here, it's about what they've got to go through, and obviously, Liberation Point and everything, it was just bad weather. So, you know, good call on their part. It's been cancelled today, but there will be a race on Saturday, bearing on the weather. Um, I will show you obviously Saturday's race results as well uh, in a minute but um, so instead of obviously a race video today I decided to do a young bird video I said I was going to do one but it was obviously meant to be as well as a race video but never mind um, all the young birds because obviously as I as I've explained before obviously with us having uh, various age groups of young birds um, we have we are actually uh, basketing all the birds up apart from the older two groups having them out then they get basketed up and then the next group they come in they go out and then they get basketed back up and then the last group they get they come out and so on and so forth and yet I know it sounds like a lot of effort and a lot of messing about but we're just trying to make sure that everybody has a hundred percent the same work the whole way through um, we tried this last year where we just kind of went oh well we'll just let them out with these lot let them out with these lot and all it kept doing was holding back the older group so what we've said this time is no we're going to try i know it's causing a lot more work for ourselves but we're going to try doing it individually train the older group then the second the, then the, you know the next group down once they've got to the same level as the older group we'll integrate them and then the same with the third group eventually they'll be integrated into the first two groups so we've got a group of 29 that um, they come out together at the minute and then we've got a group of uh, 11 that are being trained obviously separately and then we've got a younger group who haven't yet been out because we haven't had them that long and we're still obviously uh, teaching them food and whistle and trapping and um, because we always teach to trap we always teach to come back in before we let them out <laughs> It's just the way we do it and um, so obviously teaching them the coming in teaching the trapping teaching the whistle teaching the food for them two younger groups um before we can move them up a stage and start letting them out um but <clears throat> obviously i've got i had to explain it. i've got a younger we've got effectively uh one two three we've got four four <coughs> four groups but the last two groups are of the same age, but we didn't get them at the same time. So you've got one group that's in front of the others. So again, that's causing an extra group, but it won't take as long to get this last group up to their stage. Cause obviously it's just at the minute, uh, hand feeding, whistling, and obviously trapping. Uh, so once we get them up to the same stamp as them, it'll only take us a couple of weeks, hopefully if they are quick learners. Um, and then, they can be at the same stage as them, but we'll see. All the others are shifted out. I've just got this young group in here. These are all as little. Uh, these are what we picked up the other day. Got from Carl, uh, Carl Jackson. Um, he's been absolutely fantastic with us. Give us some amazing pigeons. Some of us, all of the pigeons that he gave us first time, um, are actually part of the older group, and they're what we're going to be having out. Um, now, obviously I'm going to let these out, I'm hoping that they all go straight up, but now and again we have one or two that come out and just sit on the landing boards, they need a bit of encouragement. Not scaring, just encouragement up. So, fingers crossed, but we'll get them out. I've um, been near cleaned all my shelves, loft powder down, love the smell of it, not keen on the colour of it, but better than the smell of the alternative in it. <laughs> So, I'm going to try and get these young birds. Like I said, this is group of 29. Um, let me just try and... Before you all start flying at me, can I just have a look at you first? And I've opened the door. So we've got, like, yellow ringers. We can spot some of those yellow ringers. There's one. There's another. These are all uh, bush arts. 
There's another one down there. Another one over there. Where are all the others gone? Oh, yeah, there's one on the floor just there. So these are all those bush art ones. All the blue ringers, they're the ones that we've bred. Um, there. The pink ringers, there's one. Some more on the floor here, look. Um, they're all the ones that Carl's given us. And then the white ringers, there's one there. Do, do, do. Where's the other one gone? There's another one down there. Um, I'm not quite sure where the other one's gone. They're all what we've got off uh, Liam and Neil at Liverpool. Uh, so this is this group of 29. And we're going to let these out. Aren't we, kids? Are you up, my darling? I know. He's cocky, this one. I know. Ow! 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 But this is one that we bred. That's out of our grizzle hen that we've got. And it's... Um, nest mate from the next round on uh, is exactly the same. Just attacks you all the time. Ow! So it must be something in the blood. I don't know about hotels. Isn't it, kid? Right. So I'm going to get these out. Fingers crossed. They go straight up. Most of them will. There's just the odd one or two. We kind of go, really? But we'll get there with them. Let me get outside. Here they are. Come on then. Back out. Good babies. So let's have a quick check of the time. Did did he? Okay, there it is. 10.37. They've gone up. So, up flying about. They have start, just started to go off ranging a little bit. Hang God, got a couple still inside. Come on. Up you go. Hang on, babies. Come on. Out we go. That's it, and then what we do is we shut down this door. Oh, hang on, it's stuck. Shut down that door so they can't come in until I say. Right, so I'm just going to get these ones up. Where have you come on, babies? Right, so they're all up flying. Don't normally have that many sat on landing board, but I suppose that's because uh, I'm doing it one-handed this morning. Obviously, we're filming them. Got one over there, you've got to get in soon, kid. So there they are, look, going round. Yesterday they flew for 45 minutes. Uh, they actually disappeared off up the road um, and they were actually flying with a fancier just up there. He'd let his birds out, so they were actually flying up there with them. Um, but uh, still going round. <laughs> this group touch wood I don't want to jinx it but this is the group that we own we haven't got to sit on the roof up there or anything like that stuff from landing um, they'll come down yes they will land on the floor you know potter about but they'll we'll only give them 10 minutes on the floor pottering around and then it's up and in you're not getting no more than that and w as they start to range you properly range um, that time will be reduced and it'll be landing board and in and um, because obviously that's for when it comes to them to basketing up them up and taking them training um, so that they are actually going you know, out at basket into the loft and um, obviously when it comes to feeding them we always put the basket over there anyway on the floor and whistle them straight across and straight in through the trap um, just purely because we're trying to instill that in them that out of the basket in the loft out of the basket in the loft so that when they do eventually start going training, that we do get that. Right, can we see them? Where are you going? There they are. Having a nice fly round. Oh, there they go, disappeared that way. So this is when, like yesterday, they did this, where they were you know, circling around the other side of those trees and then they just went. Then the next minute they come back and I thought, that's a really large group, there's no way that's all our birds. And it weren't, it actually turned out to be that it was our birds mixed with his birds from down the road. So they were obviously flying together. 
which he was really pleased of because it kept his birds in the air as well as ours. So they're, they're both, I mean, his birds are older than ours, so they're generally flying for longer anyway. But we were chuffed with it because it kept our birds up as well. Because we, we have been getting about 25, 30 minutes out of them, but that's because they've only just started growing up properly, grouping up and all that sort of thing. Um, so to get you know 45 minutes out of them yesterday, we were really chuffed with that. So, fingers crossed, these will have a nice fly today. Uh, half, you know, hopefully they'll do half an hour. And uh, like I said, they went about 10.37, it was. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm just going to pot around, carry on scraping out all the other rooms and uh, hopefully come back to you in a bit. And then I can show you these uh, new young birds that we've got in there that we picked up the other day and uh, Saturday's race result. Right, so while obviously they're up and flying, obviously they've already scraped the room, so I don't need to do that. And then I put the bob wires on, because they're not permanently on these, they do come off, just purely because obviously otherwise I won't be able to put the darkness boards on. Um, so I've put the bob wires on, and just to start with, just you know, until they get the, you know, their uh, confidence with it, always lift one out of the way, just in the middle, just gives them that bigger gap to come through, gets the confidence with it, eventually that will be dropped, just like it is for the race cocks and race hands, just so that... Um, you know, obviously they know it's always going to be there. But they are still flying. Having a lovely little turn. I don't know where they've gone. Where have they gone? No. Nope. They've disappeared. But, uh, good. That's what I want, really. I mean, yard's a mess today. There's just stuff everywhere. Oh, they're over there, look, they've just gone over the top. Uh, so it needs a bit of a tidy up. I haven't cut the grass and baskets need resorting. But um, never mind, it is what it is. I'll get it tidied for Saturday's race day. Oh, there they are. That's what I like to see. Here they come. So, um, I don't know if anybody else is having a midweek race today, but uh, I hope you are, you, you have good luck and everything to you, and uh, like I say, I'm going to potter about, and I will be able to get back to you when these have had their, hopefully, half an hour, and uh, show you them, obviously having a little pot around on the floor first, and then trap it in, we'll see, and then I can get on to showing you those young birds. Alright, so they've been up 20 minutes, because it is now... 10.57, oh can you see that, that's it, 10.57, um, what I will show you is while they are flying, um, is this is uh, Saturday, yeah, Saturday's result, I don't remember what it was then, um, we got 4th and 5th, RRB there, we is 4th club, and our growler, our growler got a 5th, how cool is that, that pigeon that's, well, He's never, he's always come on day, but he's never been there. We've got a fifth. I say, I'll right, be there, fourth club, 12 hours 16 and 12 seconds. And it's merely cock. And he did it in uh, 1551.119. And then our growler do it in 2 hours 16 and 19 seconds. And his velocity was 1549.792. I think that's amazing. Our girl has never been that high up the sheet. Our girl has never made the sheet. Where have they gone? Oh. Still flying round. They've been at it. 22 minutes. Oh, there they are. So I'll show you when they come down and then we're trapping them in. Here they come. Done 29 minutes. Well, some, that one's come over here onto the thing, onto the wall. And then we've got two on the landing board over there. The rest are up there still. Doing another loop to round. round. 
So we have to dismantle the girls' landing board, otherwise they'll land on there as well. So. Where have they gone? Here they are. There we go. There we go. So I think they're all down. Although I think there's one out, there's one. One still going round. Are you up, babies? You had a good fly? So they've done half an hour, which I'm pleased of. Considering they did 45 minutes yesterday. I'm glad we managed to get half an hour out of them. So just gonna pick round on the grass, give them 10 minutes, and then we'll whistle them in. And we'll see where we go from there, hopefully. They'll also all trap well. <laughs> No, I don't know where that one's gone. It might not have been ours. Because they haven't come back round since. Wait. Go, read it. That's everybody in. Had half an hour fly, had a bit of trapping seed, and then later on they'll get basketed up. Sent across to the side to trap him for the tea. Right, so we'll look at these young birds and see what you think to them. Right, so these are his new ones. I'll say that I picked up off call on a Sunday. I can't remember what it was. Right, quite excited about them though. Because as you know, I love a good grizzle. I'll just quickly show you. I love them, yeah, they're awesome. I couldn't show you them before because obviously, um, once obviously I've, I've shown them yet, it is actually their feed time. So they have the two meals a day until they start coming out, then it's the one to trap in with. Um, come here, little guy. This is another one off call. I'll show you that one. Hey kid. And then this side. I love the little red tinges in the egg. I love it. There we go. Oh, come here, you'll put you in there. There's another grizzle, but this one's not from Carl. This one's actually from a friend of ours, a local fancier called Barry. Um, so this is the grizzle that he gave us the other day. Uh, all the, how do I explain it? All the pigeons that we've actually got that are part of the, one of the younger groups. Um, the, all the ones with no coloured solenoids on at all are the ones we got from Barry. Um, so I'll show you those at some point. There's a lot of them to go through. 
but that's the one anyway. You've got to turn your head that way so people can see you. Cheers. All right, I know. So I don't want to put my wing out. Just look a bit. Where are you going? Put your answer there, darling. All right, come on then. I'll come by you. Good baby. I'll get you. This is another one from Carl. Right, you worried them to your flight then, so that's the one. Took it back in the right way. Right. So this one is still a grizzle, but a bit on the more whiter side. I think it's amazing. And then this side. I just think they're so cool. gorgeous. I love them. There we go, darling. Now these next three, as much as I love a good grizzle, I didn't quite realise quite how much I loved a white. I'll show you. Just look at that pretty baby. <laughs> it's awesome. Just got a few little black tips. Wasn't this amazing? Didn't quite realise until we got these how much I quite liked the white. I know that store class is grizzles because it's got black tips and things, and they've actually got little black speckles on the neck there. But I think they're awesome. The more I look at them, the more I think, oh, I love a good white pigeon. Oh, I know, I know, tuck your wing in, tuck your wing in. Here's another one. All right, can you still? This one's a bit more on the feisty side. Again, not had them that long, so they're still learning. No, thank you. Good baby. I know, keep still, keep still. Plus, they're wanting the, the breakfast. There we go. Put you on there, please, Tart. Good darling. And the last one. Come here, little guy. I know. I know. Good darling. There it is. Shall I show you your wings? Glowing black tips. How cool does that look? That is amazing. And then obviously the black tips on the tail as well. Just look at that. I'm absolutely buzzing about these. I can't wait to actually see these up in the sky. How long they'll last for, I don't 